Hey guys, welcome back. It's that time again. We are here for the Spotlight Collab Challenge and this is our May challenge. And if you don't remember what the challenge is, we spotlight artists every week and the theme is picked by the artists that are spotlighted. This week, our artists are Sheena from Nail Addict She. There is her Instagram and her YouTube information. And we also have Lisa from Dana August Nails and her information is there also. And this week they chose Pac-Man as the theme. So as the challenge states, we try to challenge ourselves and step outside of our comfort zones and do things that are not in our normal wheelhouse. And that stands for the technique that I used this week. I have never done this technique before. I had to watch a couple of videos and the first nail that I did is not the best, but it was my very, very first attempt. And when I was done with that nail, I decided I didn't like that. So I went back and found some more videos and then found a technique that I liked better. So as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the products first and then jump right into the design on the nails. So the technique that I'm going to attempt is neon lights. I know it sounds pretty simple and people are probably like, what's so hard about it? But I've never done it and it was crazy. So before we get into that, let's talk about our first spotlight artist, which is Lisa from Dana August Nails which is one of the most amazing people on the planet. If you don't already know that, you are missing out because this is somebody you want to know. This is somebody who is an amazing person. You can be like, oh, I know some awesome people in the nail community. Well, this is who you're talking about. Lisa, that's who you're talking about. This is an artist you do not miss a video of there's just so much content on here that you have you go to her channel you hit the subscribe button you hit that notification bell you make sure when you hit that notification bell you hit all because you don't want to miss anything she's got watch me works she's got organization she's got the Shein video, she's got it all. You go here and you subscribe. Then you come over here to Instagram. And you definitely follow and you definitely hit that notification bell and make sure you get all of that stuff set right away too. Because look, look, can't even begin to go into what is on this page. Like the love on this page is insane too. Look at this, personal pictures. She's got toes, she does acrylic we got 3d art i mean come on look at that 3d art we got poly gel she's got hard gel she does gel polish you cannot cannot miss her wonderful work it is gorgeous and amazing you will not find another artist on this level look at it this is a sculpture that belongs in a museum Seriously, it is. That's, that's amazing. That was from May's challenge. This is also from last year's May challenge. Dragons, look at this. Dragons, awesome. So much, so much content on these pages. It is phenomenal. Look, she's so amazing and beautiful. She's even willing to model shit for you. Like, come on. This is on another level. We got some October challenge stuff here. We got Pokemon. Ugh, I'm telling you, 98% of this stuff is hand drawn. Like seriously. She does some stamping to some places and some decals and things like that. But 98% of this stuff is just hand drawn. Just freely. Like, doesn't get better than that. I mean, gorgeous. Gorgeous work. Gorgeous work on herself, gorgeous work on her clients, gorgeous work on her family. It's amazing, look at how pretty that is. You do not go wrong when you go follow and you subscribe, one of the most amazing artists on the planet. Look at these people, seriously? That looks like a sticker. You can't, you can't beat it. You have to go see this woman. I'm telling you, 
bigger level than you know. Look at this. That statement is a fact. There's her stuff. Go follow it instantly. Instantly. Run like now and do it. So before we get into the next artist, I want to talk about this technique here. This nail is not my favorite and there's one more that's not my favorite that I did in the same technique here and it's just I had to watch some videos to learn to see and the first one I thought was going to work and I followed their technique and it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan. It is, like I said, it's okay, but it's not the best. So we learn as we go, right? Eh, it's not the best. We get better. But our next artist is Sheena. Sheena is the nail addict. She, and there is her information. Now what you're going to want to do is definitely come over here to her content filled Instagram and make sure you hit that follow button and that bell and set those notifications so that way you know when she posts anything because these are also designs that you do not want to miss because this page is filled with some awesome amazing looking work. These are ones that you don't want to miss out on either. Trust me like look at this for example look at how beautiful this set is like are you crazy look at this and she wears these around just so everybody is aware of that like these are on her hands and this is some beautiful work like this one for example oh my god the colors on these and look look at that ombre or that gradient look at how beautiful those colors are I mean come on these are beautiful. The bling, the pink, seriously. These are gorgeous, gorgeous sets. I mean, just pick one and you can go on and on at how amazing they are. I mean, these right here, seriously. Have you ever seen anything like that? No. Why? Because these are awesome. These are a Sheena original. Look at them. Those are beautiful. I mean beautiful these oh my god these colors come on look y'all can't beat these artists you have to go this is her YouTube channel it is also filled with the tutorials on how to make these awesome looks videos okay look at look at these just look at these videos just look look there's even shorts on here for you okay go over and subscribe Instantly hit that notification bell. You want to see her work. You want to see it Go check Sheena out. There is her information. You will not be sorry For following and subscribing to these amazing artists. You will not I promise you Okay, so let's get back into the set here so for the thumbnail which had the orange ghost and the cherry that had to be my least favorite nail. That was the very first technique that I used. And then I had to go back and watch some other videos to find different ways to do it. Because like I had said, I had never done this this way before. Um, for the ready set, I did, that's another technique that I'm not a fan of either. Um, I did miss the color on that one because the phone had rang and I was recording on the phone and I did not remember to hit record as when I went back to finish the nail so top-notch recording on my part yeah that's what you get when you come to my channel you get top-notch video editing and recording yeah you can't get that anywhere else people trust me you want to miss stuff come see me you want to hear dogs barking? You come and see me. Children yelling? Here I am. Like seriously. Brain fog on a, on a consistent. So, yeah. Well. Uh, I don't know. Ew. Neon lights look like they're easy to pull off. Okay? Maybe they are for some people. But that's how this works, right? Some things are easier for others and some things are not. But this was just not something I found easy. And it was just not 
uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted. Let's put it like that. So, I mean, they're not bad. The set is pretty cool. I'll give you that. But this is something I got to work on for sure. I got to figure out where I need to tweak it to make it perfect and what I need to do, you know, to fix it. Because I think neon lights are cool. I like them personally. I get it's an older style, but I just like that older style. Um, so I'm going to figure it out. Maybe, maybe it would look better on things that are not as detailed because then you can be, because it's kind of a sloppy, a bigger, sloppier mess kind of a look. I have, I did figure that part out. It is kind of messy because you do put in your detailed lines, but then you have to go over it with a hazy outline. So like this one is white and top coat mixed so it's kind of you know so you get that glow effect so painting on the hazy and when you have smaller detailed more work it just hmm, I don't think you can pull it off as well so maybe just on um, you know smiley faces um, flamingos leaves you know like things you always see maybe that just kind of needs to be what neon lights are kept with something not so detailed and intricate I did finally figure out um, that this haze layer needs an additional haze layer like on the outside an outline I would say so you have to have the original lining for your original look then you have to have the haze the big haze for the major glow and then you need an even thinner haze look on the outside so you have to mix more top coat in with a little less white so it has that glow to it yeah if you've never done it it takes some practice it's not something you do instantly and go perfect like no neon lights is interesting I'll say that I still love the look though I love the look of neon lights. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna keep attempting it because like I said, I do, I love it. I'm gonna do, I guess like a Miami Nights, <laughs> do neon lights or something. I'm gonna figure that out. Maybe I'll make some big, bold looking lights that aren't so detail oriented and be able to pull it off perfectly. Um, also in mixing the pigments in, the pigments are finicky, but so was the jellies. So mm, maybe I need like a more like a regular solid gel polish, you know, and just kind of add top coat to that. Maybe that's it. I don't know, because I've seen some people use the gel polish and the jellies, and there's just... I mean, the cherries, the red didn't come through like I wanted it to. I needed more, that one needed more color. You know, need more, the cherries need more something. I don't know. But in the light area of these, I did not do white because that was too much. And it just took over the color. A lot of people say, use the white because it makes it pop. But the white took away the color when I did it. So I wiped it off and then added a little bit of the color to the white. So if it was pink, added a little pink to it and mixed it up. If it was the blue here, I needed to add, you know, some of the blue jelly to the white and just make it a very pale, pale color. So that way the color still came through. Um, that was the difference on the orange one as well because that one I think was white and just didn't, I don't know. But, so Pac-Man was very difficult to figure out. Um, any inspiration or anything you could think of, just kind of, they were all the same looks, you know, like the game, the, like a picture of the game, and I just don't want to do the same things. I don't like trends, 
and I don't like to do the same things that everyone is doing. So when everybody has the same game look, I have to come up with something else. So this set was pretty difficult and stumped me for a while. And it was like, you know what, I'll just do this because I had never attempted it before and it's a challenge. So even if it's not perfect, it's a challenge. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna show you, even when it's not perfect. Because it's not about being perfect, it's about stepping outside of the comfort zone, challenging yourself, and then learning something new at the same time. Looking awesome, because no matter what you do, even if you don't like it, it's still awesome. Like, look at what you did. Look at it. Look at this set, guys. I think it pulled it off there kind of in the end. I mean, the ready and then thumb aren't my favorite, but there's Pac-Man for you. There's Pac-Man for you. All right, so I have Lisa and Sheena's information along with every other lady in the group in the description box below. Make sure you go and click the links so you can go over and follow and subscribe to everyone. Pac-Man theme, done. Check that off. Won't be doing that again. Thank you, Lisa and Sheena, because it was definitely a challenge. Definitely fell into the challenge box. I will give you that. So I will show you Lisa and Sheena's information again. And also if you are interested in joining a challenge, um, that picture will be coming up here. And I will also have that link in the description box for you as well. As always, I appreciate you. I thank you for watching. Make sure you come back next week. Love you guys.